Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at how we can export our models from Maya to Substance Painter and use a color ID map or material ID map to texture our models. So I have this armchair model here and it has two parts. One is this seats, which is supposed to be textured by some kind of leather material or a fabric. And then we have these armrests and the legs of the chair, which is to be textured by a wood material. So first we are going to take a look at uh, how we can use the material ID to texture our models. So I'm going to select these arms and legs first. So pretty much everything which is going to use a wood material. I'm going to assign a new material here. And you can use any material from Maya. So I'm going to rename it as wood. And uh, let's assign a color here. Something like this. And uh, for this seat part, I'm going to assign a new material and uh, rename it as seat. And we can assign a new material for this one. Let's take red. Now I can select both of them and go to file, and then export selection and uh, export my model as OBJ or FPX. Now go to Substance Painter and uh, import your model. And since we applied two different materials for these two parts, in your texture set list, you're going to see two different texture sets, one for seat and one for wood. So. What you can do is you can select either of them to texture. So if you want to add a wood material to these legs and arms, you have to select this uh, wood texture set and then go back to your materials and you can apply a material here like this. And it will only be applied to this texture set. And if you want to texture the seats, uh, you have to go back to texture set list and click on the seats. Go back to layers and uh, here you can apply a cloth material here like this. So the good thing about using material ID is that it gives you control over the texture sets and how you can texture them. But the negative point of this method is that when you export your textures, it's going to export two sets of textures and a model this small one set of texture should be enough. So what we can do is we can go back to Maya. So what we can do is that after applying our color and material, we can create a duplicate of this and uh, we can rename it as chair one and this one let's rename it as chair two and we are going to extract all these color information from this chair two model and uh, apply it on this chair one so how we can do that so after renaming uh, select your chair one and apply a material here any material like this and make sure that your UVs are in one island. So select everything and then you can add them in one layout like this. Now select your chair one and go to this mode here and change it to rendering. Go to lighting and shading. Click here on this transfer maps and uh, add your chair one with uh, no color information here in the target mesh. And in the source meshes, add your chair to with the color information. And select this diffuse. Set your folder. And rename it as color ID. And just change the format to JPG or PNG. And here in the Maya common output, you can increase the resolution of this map. So I'm going to take uh, 1K and uh, sampling to medium and click here on bake and close. So Maya has exported a color ID map. So we can uh, check that out here. So there are two ways to use this map uh, in Substance Painter. So what we can do is we can go back to Maya and uh, export this uh, chair one. So go to file and uh, export selection. 
and uh, rename it as share one now select this share two and again export now we have to go to substance painter and uh, create a new project import your share one and uh, go to texture set settings Go to bake mesh maps and just deselect everything and only select your ID map, change the output size and import the other chair, chair 2. Click on this ID map and in the color sources make sure it is selected to material color and then click here on bake selected texture. And in your ID map, it's going to extract that color information from the chair 2 and uh, import it on this chair 1. So this is the first method of using this color ID map. Let's take a look at the other one. So go to bake mesh maps. But uh, before that, let's uh, remove this one. So go to bake mesh maps and uh, here we can remove this uh, other chair. And we can just uh, select everything to bake. Now we are not using an ID map from other models so you might uncheck this or you can leave it as it is and uh, let's click on this bake selected texture and as you can see that our ID map is pure white it doesn't have any information so what we can do is that we can go back to that folder where we exported our color ID map from Maya and select it then drop it here in substance define it as texture and import to your current session or your project and then select this color id map and drop it here in the color id and now we can use this color id map to texture our model so now we only have one texture set so what we can do is if you want to add a wood material to the arms and legs only we can drop a material here it's going to be applied on the entire model but if you right click here you'll see this add mask with color selection if you click here and click on this pick color, it will ask you on which color you want to apply this texture to. So if you select this green color, it's going to apply that wood texture only this part of your model. And if we take a different material like this leather and drop it here in the layers. And right click select this add mask with color selection click on this pick color and pick this red color it's going to apply this leather material on these part of this model only so you can increase or decrease the tolerance if you want so let's increase it here so that you can get rid of these patches here so you can go back here and increase the tolerance and it will fix uh, this issue and now our uh, chair is textured so if you export your textures now it's going to export only one set of textures which is sufficient for this kind of model that's how you can uh, export your id map from maya or generate a new one in substance painter and texture your models so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then drop a like on this video so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching